Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love. All glory and honor we give to God that you and me, we have met here again. My name is Caesar Okulu. I work with Scripture Union, Uganda. Today, we are going to discuss a very important topic on this embrace. As Scripture Union, Uganda, there are key things that we treasure. One of them is what you need, and it's called memory verse. Memory verse is what a child needs, a youth needs, you a parent needs, and a teacher needs the a teacher a doctor needs a memory verse everyone needs a memory verse so why should we memorize which is a key question to anyone including you including your child why should we memorize let's take in our bible from ephesians chapter number 6 verses 10 to 17 tells us something is a illustration of a warrior how, how does a warrior dress? From Ephesians chapter number 6, from verses 10 to 17, we are seeing how a warrior, a spiritual, uh, how you as a child of God should be dressed. We're looking at the belt, which is the truth. We're looking at the helmet. Uh, we're looking at the breastplate, which is the righteousness, and then many others. We're looking at the sword, the most important part, the sword, which is the word of God, plus many other things that we need to do. Why should we memorize the memory verse fortify you for battles? Two, 2 Timothy chapter number 3 verse 15. We memorize to gain wisdom. 2 Timothy chapter number 3 verse 15, which says, And how from infancy you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Do you want to gain wisdom? Yes, you need to memorize. You, memory verses, you have gained, you have studied the word of God all the way through. And now you're able to speak it out, you're able to memorize in situations, so you'll be able to gain wisdom. In Ephesians chapter number 6, verse 17, Give us another dimension of why we should memorize. Ephesians chapter number 6 verse 17 tells us that memory verse, it is a sword for spiritual battle. Which reads, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Do you want to win the battle? Yes, you need the word of God inside of you. How can you get this word of God inside of you? By memorizing scriptures so that it is part of you. The other reason why we need to memorize is uh, Psalms 119 verse 11. Psalms 119 verse 11 tells us that I have hidden your word in my heart that I might gain, that I might not sin against you. I repeat, I have hidden your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. Psalms 119, verse 11. Why should we memorize to overcome sin? We're living in a, 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 a dimension where we feel sin is not part of us, and then, you know, we are mingling with sin, but the Bible is telling us to overcome uh, sin, you need to hide the word of God in your heart. This is what we call a memory verse. Praise the Lord. Now, if these are the reasons why we need to do or have a memory verse, for you who is a teacher or a parent, how can you now teach a memory verse to your child? How can you teach a memory verse to the audience that you read to? In Scripture Union, we have many methods, and we recommend this Scripture Union method to you. You can use it at school, at home, in a conference, anywhere. We are going to choose one, which is called I dream method. How does this method work? I, when you have identified your memory verse you're going to teach, you introduce it to 
the audience you're going for or the children you're going to meet. Or you're in a secondary school, you're going to have a Bible study and every Bible study we normally recommend a memory verse. So you introduce the memory verse. In the I dream method, the second letter is D. What do you do with D? D is display the verse. Display the verse that, uh, that you're going to memorize or that you're going to discuss, that you want to stick in the hearts of the young people. You want to stick in the hearts of the children. Display it. After displaying, for example, you have this word. This is Psalms 119, 105, which reads, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. Psalms 119, 105. When you display like this, the child will be able to, to, to grab it a little bit deeper. Will be able to think that there's, uh, there's something that that have to do with watching. When you see something, it goes deeper inside of you. That's why we need to display it so that the children can have. This displaying is a visual aid. After displaying, you read from the Bible. Now, this I've quoted directly from the Bible, so it's okay that we are reading from the Bible. This is a NIV. It says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light. For my path. You read this when you're with your child. You open the Bible and you read together with the child. You read together with your daughter. You read together with your son so that he or she will be able to hide that word, will be able to treasure it because the word of God is a treasure. Praise the Lord. After displaying, you read. Now from the Bible and we're saying we have displayed and we have read from the Bible, and we have found it is exactly this. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Then you explain the meaning. You explain the meaning. What does this word mean? You explain to your child. You explain to your daughter. You explain to your son. You explain to your student. You explain to that pupil the meaning of these verses. For example, your word. Whose word? God's word, which is the most important word in this world. God's word. Whose word? God's word is a lamp. Now, in the explanation, you explain the use of a lamp. Like, for example, Scripture in Uganda, the logo is actually a lamp. A lamp produces light. It's like a bath. A bath produce light. A lamp also produce light. When you are driving at night, you need a light. That's why we have the, the headlamp that gives you light. Wherever you're going, you're chasing away darkness. Let a child understand that the word of God is like that lamp that guides a feet. Like a feet is where you're putting your step you need to see where, because otherwise you might step on a dangerous thing. But the word of God is like a lamp that lights where a child will go. When, when a child is faced with difficult situation, the word of God is like a light, a lamp. Now you go to the next part that, okay, it's not only a lamp for the feet, but it's also a light for the path. So you explain, what does it mean for the word of God to be a light? For the path. We have different ways that we take. Like uh, a child might be at school doing a course or just in P1. So if a child is in P1, that means that child has a long path to take till the child reach P7, then graduate to secondary, graduate to university. All those are paths that a child is taking. So that child needs the word of God as the light, to light the child's decision. Even you as an adult, you need this word of God because the word of God is the only light that can help you. After explaining this, you now go to A, 
from I dream, the next letter is A, which is apply the word of God to a child's life, which we have been trying to do. Like, uh, for example, in application of the word of God, we are saying your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. In the application, we are saying, yes, we are living in the era where many things are coming, let's say homosexuality. How can you apply the word of God to address that? Uh, the, the word of God, since the word of God is the light, it will illuminate the heart of the child and the child will understand, okay, I'm supposed to stay pure. Then after that, you go to memorization, and which is a key thing. But you can't memorize what a child has not understood. That's why we're saying go through all the process. Thank you for watching. Like the video. And for any question, put in the comment section. We'll be able to answer you. God bless you. Love is God, and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love.